Today I'm going to show you how to bake a loaf of bread like that. Okay, to make this you're going to need weighing scale, a bowl, some butter, actually this is margarine but butter will do, some yeast, a measuring jug, some sugar, some salt, two types of uh, flour, you'll need plain flour and wholemeal flour, and some olive oil. So to begin with, we're going to put 300 mils of warm water in here and a tablespoon of sugar and the yeast. Put the sugar in and stir it until it's dissolved. And then pour in the yeast. give that about 10 minutes until it's frothing. I'll show you what it looks like when it's frothing. Okay, well that's waiting for the yeast to start because that's what you're doing, the sugar gets the yeast going. Um, we're going to measure out uh, the wholemeal flour and the white flour. Uh, what we want is a little bit less wholemeal than white flour but you can mix and match and try different experiments. But what we're looking for is 500 grams. So what we'll do is we'll do a 60-40, so we'll put 200 grams of wholemeal in there, come on. Two hundred grams, exactly, look at that. And now we'll put 300 grams of white flour. Putting... Oh, we've gone over. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay, next thing to do is get a big spoon. Putting. Get a big spoon, give it a stir, and then you want about a tablespoon of salt in there. About. How big? Pour that in and give it a good stir because you don't want the salt to interact too much with the yeast because the salt will kill it. And make a nice little well like that. I'm going to pour the yeast in there when it's ready. At this point we can put in the butter. I'm doing this one-handed so it's a bit tricky. And I put in just that much, a big, like that's what, two tablespoons. <laughs> Dollop it in, give it a good mix. Try and get that butter as mixed in as possible. Right, once your yeast looks like this, nice and frothy, it's ready to go in. So I'll just give that a stir. Make a little cavity there. Pour it in. Let's pour the lot in and start stirring it. Try and get it all clumped into one piece like this. Well, it's, it's getting there. Right, the next bit is, wait, wash your hands and get them wet. I always leave the tap running for this bit. Get your hands in there and squeeze it all in like this. Get it all, all mushed into one lump. And if you start sticking to your hands, just wet your hands. And it won't stick as much. Right, we got into one lump, and now's the kneading process. Now, lads, this is where you're going to make a mess. This is where you get in trouble. Sprinkle a load of flour on there. All right, oh. I always get it caked up a little bit. The trick with this is, I always find, is get your palm and push in 
and then where it pushes out, roll, fold that over and then push in again. And you, it's kind of fold and push, fold and push. There's loads of different methods to it, but I like this one. It's good for a good exercise, this is for your, for your arms. So push and fold and fold and push and push and fold. If it starts to get sticky, just get a bit more flour on there. And you need to be doing this for about five or ten minutes. Just keep kneading it and folding it. Like I say, if it, gets, if it starts sticking to you, just push in a bit of flour. Bat it around a bit. Tell it who's boss. Okay, so had about 10 minutes of uh, kneading. I've given a good, uh, a good slap here. Right, what we do now is bang it back in a bowl and cover that in cling film and leave it for two or three hours. The reason for the cling film is uh, to keep moisture in and I always just cover it up as well. Okay, uh, what I did do also was, because um, cling film doesn't seem to hold very well, I put elastic band around so it's kept all the moisture in there. So we can pull that off now. That's risen nicely. Uh, before I carry on, what I am going to do is I'm just going to grease this. This is what the olive oil's for. So I'll put it back in there. So we're just going to get all that nicely uh, oiled up. What I'm going to do is get my hands oiled as well because the next stage is where we pull the dough out. The trick with this is go around like this. And it doesn't matter because you want a bit of olive oil on there, it'll be just add a little bit of flavour. And what we're going to do now is just sprinkle a bit of this on here. And we need to push all of the air out of this. Whoops, I'm getting it everywhere. Now, this is the important trick. This is, this is the bit where you either have a, an ugly looking loaf or a good one. So what we're after is, I'm going to just bash that down and we want it flat on this on the bottom so i'm going to peel this back here we need to pinch these bits here <clears throat> together like this and that is the bottom of the loaf so when we turn it over we should have or what we're looking for is a nice stretched loaf like this so we stretch it and the bottom bit where it's all folded in it doesn't matter what it looks like at the bottom so put it on we'll try and shape it into a bit of a bun put it on our baking tray grab a knife now what we're doing here is we're just cutting it we just put some slices and angle like this, quite quite deep, about a centimetre deep. And we're done. That's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick that in the oven to rise once again. But in the oven what you need is a tray like this. I'm going to pour some hot water in there, boiling if you like. Okay, and then we're going to put this uh, the loaf in there 
I'm going to leave that about uh, 40 minutes to an hour to let this rise and then we're going to bake it. So put some boiling water in there. About half a pint or a pint of water. Um, I'll leave that in there, let it rise once again and then uh, check it back in about 45 minutes and then start the oven. Okay, that has had about 40 minutes and that's risen, lovely, look at that. So we are now ready to stick it in the oven. Top shelf, don't forget, water, you need water in there. Okay, we're gonna stick it on, let's flick on the oven. Fan assist and uh, about 230 degrees, you can do it 250, don't really matter. Uh, give that 25 to 30 minutes. We'll check it in 25 minutes. I've not preheated the oven because I'm lazy. Okay, I'm, trying, I'm going to try and do this one handed. Oh, yeah, boy. Look at that. You beauty. Okay, what you're listening what you, what you want now is when you think it's done is tap it. And it needs to sound hollow, which it does. But there we go. One freshly baked loaf of bread. I'm going to uh, slice that in a minute and show you what it looks like. Okay, let's see what it looks like inside. It's doughy. Look at that. That's lovely. Ah, oh, delicious. Okay, I'm, trying, I'm going to try and do this one-handed. Oh, yeah, boy. Look at that. You beauty. Now, what we're listening for when we tap it is a hollow sound. 